Hi there! Today we'll learn about key steps for creating good-looking renders of jewelry in Light Trace Render. While it is similar to other product renderings, the unique challenge in jewelry visualization lies in the fully specular metal and highly refractive gemstones. These materials essentially lack their own color, meaning the appearance relies entirely on lighting and the environment. A good visual starts with a good model. We've selected some fantastic work by Redovan from GrabCat in 3DM format. This format is natively supported by Light Tracer Render, so you can simply drag the downloaded file onto the app window. Next, let's add a base for our model, so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air. In Light Tracer you can make different flows and stands. Let's choose a simple flat floor. It comes with a special shadow catcher material that can be seen directly, but can catch shadows from the lights in the scene. Next, let's make a copy of the ring and place it on the floor next to the first one. We can use built-in physics engine to position the ring naturally. Now let's assign materials to the objects in our scene. You can easily find the gold preset using the search box. There is also a diamond preset that provides the correct refractive index and dispersive behavior. To make the scene more interesting, let's change the color of the stone by adjusting the attenuation parameters. For photorealistic jewelry rendering, it is better to use high contrast HDRI maps with neutral lights. Soft lighting will prevent the diamond from exhibiting a fire effect. A diamond's fire is produced when white light disperses into rainbow colors upon striking its facets. Let's choose appropriate setting for jewelry rendering. First, we need to select the quality rendering preset. It's also crucial to switch to the physical camera model with the proper depth of field. Our goal is to adjust the camera aperture to achieve a result similar to a real camera. Here you can modify the film size and F number, which affects the amount of blurring. Now let's adjust the surrounding scene. One option is to use a backplate. In the Environment tab, there is a gradient backplate option that allows us to set a solid color, gradient or fully transparent backplate for our render. Alternatively, you can assign a textured material to the floor. For jewelry rendering, natural stone or fabric are good choices. Let's find a marble preset in the library and drag it onto the floor. We hope this tutorial helps you create the perfect jewelry shots in Light Ray Surrender. Share your tips in the comments and we'll include the best ones in our blog. See you next time!